guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. Today we are talking all about an older palette. This is the Metropolis palette from Natasha Denona. This is another Natasha Denona palette that when it came out initially, I it was a pretty easy uh, pass for me. I'm gonna put a picture of it up here because what's in here is different. If that gives you any idea of what we do in this video, you know it. <laughs> but up here you can see the picture. There are tons of bronzes and golds in here and I felt like at the time there just a lot of repeat shades and at the time also when this came out I was not as into neutrals or Natasha Denona in general like everything about this palette was so easy to skip on um, this is one of the smaller pan palettes but it's a 28 pan palette so it was at that $129 price point I believe but it had a lot more shades because all the shadows were minis anyway with that being said you know fast forward to modern day today um, I am a huge fan of Natasha Denona shadows I really like the formula I really like that you can pop the shadows out and so Metropolis has always been on the back of my mind like oh at some point I'll get it at some point I'll get it and then it went down discontinued. Now, I don't know where that information specifically came from. I just heard it through the grapevine. I heard it swirling in the air and I was like, oh no, by the time that I had basically decided I do want the Metropolis and I just hadn't got around to getting it, it was sold out everywhere. You couldn't get it anywhere and basically I thought it was discontinued and never coming back. And so that was sad. <laughs> I was really sad about that and um, I just kind of let it be what it was. Like I wasn't going to pay like a huge price for some palette on the internet randomly somewhere like I wasn't interested in that but I am at the point where I've pretty much decided that most of the Natasha Denona palettes I'll probably end up getting at one point or another I tend to like to get things that I don't love the color story of initially on sale if I can and save some money but I like having a lot of the palettes because I can move things around I obviously do YouTube so there's that to factor in but I do really enjoy it it's like a brand I actually enjoy collecting from because I feel like I can get a lot of use out of it in multiple different ways. Anyway, that all being said, like, how do I have this then, right? How do I have this? This is back in stock on Natasha Denona's website. She announced it a couple weeks ago at this point. I'm going to check right now and see if it's still there when I'm filming this. It was when I filmed yeah, it's there. So right now it is $129 on Natasha Denona's website. I'm not sure if during Memorial sale, like the Memorial Day weekend, if she's gonna do a sale or anything on it, but it is in stock. So if it was something you wanted and you didn't get your hands on it, you can pick it up. I don't know why it's back. Is it discontinued? Is it not? Was this just like random stock she had? Did she put in another? I don't know. I don't know. Um, this kind of happened with the gold palette as well. Like it was out of stock, out of stock, and then it came back into stock for a limited time on like Sephora. And I don't know what that is if like all the stores that had it in stock sent it into the warehouse. I don't know. I, <laughs> I'm not in the back end on this, okay? All I know is that it is currently in stock. I don't know how long that will last. I don't know if it's getting completely discontinued. And there's also the potential that with the Metropolis and even the gold, I've mentioned this, that she might come out and put them out in midi palettes or in different versions or variations of these because this is in the older packaging, which now she does more of the uh, plastic packaging like this so I have no idea what's gonna happen but um, I did know that when this was not available and I thought I couldn't get it I was really sad so the moment that I could get it I did pick this one up and yeah we're gonna get into like the middle of this video the labeling stuff the moving things around I also did an eye look so I'll have some timestamps down below you probably have found them already but I really wanted to kind of dissect this palette and I hope that if you were interested in it you could see it up close because this isn't a brand new palette there aren't a ton of new videos on it so so I just thought if it was something you wanted, hopefully some of my thoughts and seeing it up close and kind of me rearranging it and the look, whatever, could help you decide if it's something you want to catch while it's available or if it's something you're completely fine not having and you can pass on it. So um, anyway, let's just get into the actual palette and moving the shadows around. All right, guys, I have my Metropolis palette here and I am excited to do a little rearranging with this guy. Here the palette is. Um, it is pretty all over the place but very golden oranges greens and first thing I want to do is get this thing labeled so that way I can have freedom and move them around and do all that so I am gonna label first I've talked about this before but I use a label maker to mark the back this is the one I use it's the P touch brother one I don't know I got it at Costco so I had one of you guys ask me but it's just from Costco so yeah that's <laughs> what I have and I like to label these so that way I can put them back in place but don't have to worry about that when I'm moving them around 
and how I do that is I'll number this like M1 through however many shades are here. So yeah, and it's just the easiest way. It doesn't give me the actual name of the shadow, but really I just want the kind of dimensions or coordinates, I guess, <laughs> for the shadows. So I'm gonna go through and label these. All right guys, so here's the palette in its little quilt and you can see how much repeat there is in this palette. Like, I don't know, man. Uh, this is the one thing that when I first came out, what I thought of this palette, I was like, how many golds can you put in a palette? <laughs> um, and technically they are all different, but a lot of similar things. So I am going to first rearrange these from like light to dark, kind of get an idea of what's in here. Cause I just like doing that. And it really shows, you know, all of the gold coppers that are in here. So that's what I'm going to do real fast. Okay, seeing it this way, I like the color story actually better. I did not expect that. There's something about it, the greens and the oranges and the golds and the coppers and like, you know, these teal colors, I think they're really pretty. They give me this kind of like New York old money, Ralph Lauren going into fall, throwing a freaking football. I don't know, that kind of vibe. You walk into a Ralph Lauren store <laughs> vibe. Um, so anyway, I really like the colors. There's something about them very fall. There still are a lot of repeats, don't get me wrong, but you can kind of see the color like gradation, I guess, and variation when they're next to each other like this. So they actually, I don't know, I feel like you can see the differences between them all a little bit more. So yeah, not what I was expecting. I thought I would do this and be like, man, look how close they all are, but I actually like it better like this. So that's kind of interesting. That being said, something I thought would be a fun little exercise is to create my own, basically like 15 pan version of the Metropolis palette because I do feel like there are some repeats. So I kind of wanted to just play around with the idea of what would a 15 pan Metropolis palette look like if I got rid of, you know, some of these repeats and only picked the specialer shades or, you know what I mean? Kind of focused on that. So I thought that would be fun and I think I'm gonna uh, do that now. So I'm gonna try to whittle this down to only 15, oh, wrong way, shadows and see what uh, is in here, what I pick out. Okay, I think that's my broken down version. I think it's really pretty. I think it gets rid of a lot of the bulk. Let me put this over here. So these are the shades I didn't end up using. I think it's kind of odd that there was this like dark blue, but there's also a dark tealy blue and the dark green. I think that could have been whittled down. I mean, they're all in that cream formula. Again, lots of these gold and copper. So I tried to pick the ones that I felt like really went a certain direction. This almost looks like a version of the Zendo palette too. 
looking at it. You know, the kind of warms and the cool tones, the reds and the blues. There are a few shades though I wish I could have fit in. Like I wish I could have fit this shade in. I think that would have been really pretty. I loved this. I would have loved to have that in there. This is a more textured bronzy color. I would have loved to put that in. So there are a few shades, but overall I feel like I captured a pretty good idea of it. It still gives me kind of like cabin or like, like fall, I don't know, vibes <laughs> for some reason. So I'm actually gonna put that in one of the smaller Natasha Denona palettes so I can see it in a palette. All right guys, so here is my smaller version of the Metropolis palette. I think it's beautiful and I'm kind of sad that this isn't what it was. <laughs> I don't know, no, I mean, don't get me wrong. We have the extra shadows, it's fine. I'm just saying, I think this is really pretty and I think it really shows off the color story that's like hidden within the palette. So I'll swatch this. I wasn't gonna swatch the full Metropolis, like one, it's been out for years and years and years, like you probably know what it looks like, but I'll swatch this one so we can see it. All right guys, so here are the swatches. I mean, it's so pretty. It's like this grungy rainbow palette. That's what it's turned out to be. And I think it's stunning. So pretty, very happy with the purchase, even with all the extra shadows. I'm glad I got my hands on it before it sold out or was completely discontinued. And I know it'd be a palette that oh, I'd be sad not to have in my collection, especially because of my love for Natasha Denona shadows and everything I can do with them. So yeah, beautiful. I love this yellowy gold but it's kind of green. I love this duochrome. That's probably one of my favorite shades. I love this color bronze. This green is so swampy and fun. Um, I like these darker shimmery shades and then the mattes that kind of go with them, the creams. Even this orangey copper, there's something about it's really stunning. So um, yeah, I love that. Okay, last thing before I go on to the demo, I thought it would be fun to kind of freestyle a palette. So I'm gonna keep these shades in here. I'm gonna do my demo with these, but since I have the empty Metropolis and it holds 28 shadows, I thought it'd be fun to kind of put together some of my favorite shadows from all my different midi size palettes and see what the color story is. Maybe I'll get inspired as I go. I don't know. I'm just kind of, yeah, freestyling and seeing <laughs> what happens. So yeah, I thought it'd be fun and I'll take you along.
Okay, I don't particularly love the layout, don't get me wrong, okay? But I went with something that was like purple, pink, and kind of green, that was my goal. Um, I tried to lay it out at first from like light to dark and it just was looking weird. And um, so this is what I ended up with, but I think there's some pretty looks in here, kind of chaotic. I don't know the best way to arrange this. I'm not obsessed, <laughs> I don't hate it. I think actual good looks come from it, but I don't know if it's like aesthetically pleasing. But I also feel like it would be better if I cut it down, it's just so many shades. Okay, anyway, um, I'm gonna put the other shadows I have next to me away, but I guess you don't need to see that, so I guess we'll just get into the demo. All right, let's get into a look with my condensed down palette. I am probably gonna go kind of neutral. I know we have some really beautiful blues and greens in here. I'm actually like really excited about them, but that's not what I'm feeling today. <laughs> So let's see where this goes. I think first I'm gonna go in actually with this like yellowy shade. That's kind of colorful. I'll leave all the names down below since I don't have the shade names, like the proper shade names in this palette showing. I'm just putting this in my crease, kind of on the lid as well. I'm already primed and ready to go. Like my base is extremely sticky so i'm just kind of laying down color but i am gonna blend out as well with like a fluffier bigger brush i'm even gonna add a little bit of the product and hope i can get a nice blend that way i want something pretty buffed out I really want to use this shade like all over my lid, but I kind of want to see what it's like putting this in the outer corner, like the other half of my eye. Um, it's like a coppery brown shimmer. Tapping it off and I'm using a brush to apply it. Usually with shimmers, I do go in with my finger, but I kind of just want to see how a brush applies it. And I'm just using the same brush I initially used, like the other side of it. And I'm just blending that into the yellow we have laid down, really trying to just get a nice blend going. And I'm even using it to blend in the upper part of the inner corner as well. I'm gonna take that big fluffy brush, that initial yellow kind of matte we used and just kind of buff the outer corners and outer edges. Really, again, just blending a lot. And then for my lid, I'm taking this shade. It's so pretty. It is like a duochrome kind of green with a red base that's gonna go on my inner corner. And I'm gonna blend it back into what we have laid down. I like that. I don't think I want to go deeper, honestly. I kind of want to keep it chill. I'm going to use this light shade in here as my inner corner and my brow bone. I'm gonna use this bronze liner for my lower lash line. I might blend out with that yellow and like bring it into the, the bottom of the eye, but I don't know yet. I am gonna add just a little bit of yellow, just a little bit. All right, and I'm gonna add some mascara. All right guys, so here is the finished look. I think it's really pretty kind of basic, bronzy. I put a little bit of that pencil in my waterline. I never do that, but it kind of got on there on accident. And then I just kept it to the outer half and I think it's really sultry. 
I don't know, I kind of like it. Maybe I'll start doing that a little more. I thought that the lid shade was really pretty too. It has kind of that green gold thing going on. I love like duochromes like that. So it's something kind of fun, but still pretty neutral. And I like it, just a nice blown out easy look. You guys know I love these. So that is uh, the look today with this palette. I mean, tons of other beautiful looks to do. And this is like a, a fraction of what the palette actually has. I think this, quad is just so pretty even just this uh six pan it's pretty promising so um okay let me zoom you out all right guys i hope you enjoyed the video and seeing the palette well the small palette here that i have it has been a bit since i filmed the inside portion of this like moving the shadows around creating this custom palette and all of that but i am pretty happy overall with this palette obviously i'm glad i got it before it's discontinued and like gone if that happens and so i hope this was helpful if you were kind of on the fence and didn't know if you wanted it you know a close Closer look at the colors, the repeats, and hopefully it can help you make a decision on if it'll be a good purchase for you or not, if you can pass up on it or if you want to get it before it's gone. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have an amazing day. And other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.